Hey y'all, it's Best Cat 8. I have been in New Orleans for almost a week now and um, anybody ever need a vacation from your vacation? Y'all, it takes stamina to be a tourist. So I woke up like this in the jacuzzi with my cup of coffee and my main man on this lovely morning building up my energy for later in the day. For those that have been watching my video, y'all know how I do it. This is one of the ways that I recharge. So when we're done here, we're gonna start with refueling with some breakfast. Then y'all, we are going sightseeing through the city on a double-decker bus and we are sitting on the top. I am so excited. Oh, and we're gonna have a live guide so we can get a Louisiana history tour. But first, let's eat. This location is Breads on Oak. It's an organic uh, bakery um, and restaurant. And so we just thought we'd try their breakfast. And um, they have a really huge variety. So I know that we're gonna find something that we like. I got a question. Does anybody else eat off your husband or your man's plate? That's how I met my husband. Y'all see that chocolate cake? He was eating some chocolate cake. Well, he say I took his french fries, but I said I ate his chocolate cake. And I swear, he looked at me like, what is your problem? And I was like, you know you want to share with me. And I've been eating off his plate ever since. Today's message is, be sure that you have a man that does not mind sharing with you. <laughs> Don't tell nobody this, but sometimes I'm not even hungry, but I'll still take a little bite of this food because I don't want to break tradition. Okay, so I think I want to try the sausage biscuits and the cheesy grits sound really good right now. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but this place is 100% um, organic and the food is really delicious. This is just one of those things where old habits die hard. <laughs> You guys, look out this window. It is not supposed to be raining outside. I hope this lets up because we have an excursion to go on and it requires me to be outside on top of a double-decker bus. So we are gonna need this rain to go away. <laughs> Y'all, we are at the stop where we're supposed to get on our bus and why is it raining harder? We're going to have to go inside the store and grab some ponchos and some umbrellas because I am not prepared for this. I have sandals on, okay? I am standing in water up to my ankles. What y'all think? Y'all like this look? <laughs> Is it fashionable? I'm still getting on this bus. We going sightseeing, y'all. <laughs> It'll be like Hawaii. We gonna let us out of here, right? Wow. Uh, keep it hostage. Uh, This is what you call determination. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. A little bug. Okay, who summons the thunder and lightning? Our bus is here. Okay, so we're not sitting on top, but we're getting inside this bus. Come on, y'all. When I was in the jacuzzi this morning, this is not what I had envisioned for this sightseeing tour. <laughs>
And I think there's supposed to be 18 different stops to take in. First stop, Basin Street train station. And um, we are literally drenched. But at least we're out of the rain, so that's good. They have this really huge wall art that's actually a, a map. And it gives a really interesting aerial view of the New Orleans and Jefferson parishes um, surrounding the water and the levees failure. And it looks like with all this rain that is not seeming to want to let up, that we will probably have to cut our excursion short because even though I wanted to go see all of these beautiful places and experience all of uh, New Orleans, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that in this weather. So the funny thing is, is that I am usually responsible for checking the weather when we travel because I need to be prepared. And for some reason, I totally forgot how subtropical environments can go from 30 degrees to 75 degrees or from a beautiful, you know, warm day to a storm. <laughs> so I take full responsibility for not realizing where I was. Well, the benefit to being caught in a storm is you're stuck inside. So they have a little souvenir shop here. We are going to take a look around and see if there's anything that we want to buy. Nice fans too. Oh, you get your fan? I mean, sorry, umbrellas. Personally, I usually prefer the warmer climates, and by the looks of this rain, there doesn't seem like there's going to be a whole lot of sightseeing going on. So I guess that's my cue to get back to California. <laughs> I must admit, we did get to enjoy the fun and the unique allure of New Orleans. We were able to experience the Essence Fest, the streetcars, the sound of jazz music on Canal Street, and the French Quarters, um, fireworks, and the hurricane. Not the storm, but the drink. If you guys had the opportunity to watch my other videos, you'll see that I took you guys to see alligators in the swamp um, and the bayou. We did a little shopping and of course we got to enjoy some delicious Cajun food. That airboat tour that my husband slid in was some fast and furious fun. We had a very wet and short double-decker bus ride, but I'm positive that all this is just a drop in the bucket of what's available to do in Louisiana. With all that said, I guess that means that I have to come back for Mardi Gras. But you guys, I got some really cute gifts and souvenirs that I'm going to show you all when you come back for my next vlog. Wow, look at this beautiful horizon. Like I said, you guys, I really had an amazing time in New Orleans, even with the storm. I'm happy I got to experience that too. I hope that you all are remembering that in life after a storm comes a new, new opportunity, a new beginning, a new perspective, new hope even new challenges, which in a sense is good because that's part of what pushes us forward. Ultimately, it's new whatever you decide is next for your life. Always remember, it is what you say it is. We have made it back to Cali, baby. Look at LA. We're descending, so we're gonna be landing here shortly. If you guys enjoy experiencing these adventures with me, then like the video and subscribe. Touchdown! I want to give a shout out to the people of New Orleans. Thank you so much for the hospitality. All 
also I appreciate you guys for rolling with me or should I say flying with me <laughs> seriously thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel see you next time a la prochaine